In this video, we're taking this dark and dingy basement and installing two of the best egress windows on the planet. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe as you watch. What's up guys, Jordan here with JDS Home Improvement and the Maryland Egress Specialists. We're here at a house in Potomac, beautiful house off MacArthur Boulevard. We're putting in two amazing window systems. They're almost like doors. Big European style tilt and turn windows. They swing into the house like a, an in-swing casement window does. So we're gonna drastically change this basement light-wise. I mean, we all need light and this room just had none of it. So we're about to get started out here. We already called Mist Utility last week and located all the utility lines like gas and electric and water. And we're sending a crew down to the basement to get started, cutting out the wall, exposing the foundation, while Nick gets started outside with the excavator. We're digging all the way down to the drain tile, which was installed by the builder. Once we have that exposed, we're installing our own sump pump that is going to pump water out of the well in its own dedicated PVC line. Back in the basement, Josh is working to expose the foundation cinder block wall. There he's gonna find that center point they drilled from the outside so they can take all their measurements off of that. This wall was built with plywood instead of drywall, so you see Josh is having a time of it getting this thing off. There's nails all throughout, nailed down to the studs. But once we find that center hole, we'll start the rest of the demolition to the block. That's our center. As Nick continues to complete the excavation, he checks that center mark again from the outside. We've got the foundation excavated where we need it, so we're using the wet saw to begin making the cuts. These egress windows are so big, we've actually got to go up into the brick area. We've got to expose enough area to get our lentil in and our LDL boards. Some of the bricks we will remove carefully and clean them up so we can reuse them above the lentil. That way we won't have any issues matching them. Some foundations are better than others. This one's pretty solid, 12 inch block. Yeah. Our saw only cuts 11 and a half inches, so yeah. we're in here, scored, but not walk through. Point we are getting super close to bringing in this egress window. It's a 65 inch by 84 inch window. Not your typical lightweight fiberglass that people are claiming that's the latest and greatest. This thing's almost 500 pounds built on a tube steel frame and wrapped in vinyl. It's a European style built and shipped from Poland. It has a five multi-point locking system. It locks like a safe. Nick's going to get the excavator to get this block out of the hole so we can start framing it out for the window. And here's where we're going to install the lintel for the brick. With the excavation and demo complete, now it's time to rebuild. The 
These are unusually large and beautifully crafted window well systems which come with a built-in ladder meeting all coded standards. Um, we got the sub pump and attached to the sub pump is a one-way stop valve so the water can't go back in once it's ejected. And then we drill a hole in there so the water can leak out during the winter so it doesn't freeze and crack the pipe. Just like that. And then eventually the electric's gonna be plugged in. We'll have our sub pump all ready to go. I'm gonna fill this up with gravel. The window well is installed, we backfill the excess void. We compact that soil as we go every couple inches so there's no settling and low points later that would hold water. Here's Mr. Egress Jordan of JDS Home Improvement. The customer wanted to utilize every square inch that they could with glass. We wanted a lot of natural light down here, so we put one 60 by 84 inch window on this side of the, of the room and another one on the opposite side, and it really is going to change the space. This is a, obviously a much larger window than we need for minimum requirements to meet egress. So Width-wise, we're right on top of our well. You can see how our, well, our cut is right on top of our, our well right here on both sides. going to resupport the load of the house. Instead of putting it below the sill plate, which we normally do, which is easier, in this case we're putting it above so we can buy that much more room for glass. We framed it out. Actually, our structural header is, a, is above in the floor. Uh, two LVL boards up there, and then we have a lentil for the brick outside. Uh, Wells installed, sump pump, about to install the window to see the finished product. Windows like doors have to be hung just right. They need to be shimmed, leveled, and secured or else the doors won't open just right.
Before we arrived on the scene, you had a dark and dingy cave-like basement. Now you see our final product, the window wells installed. There's a sump pump down below the gravel. The final grade is feathered out, reseated. The interior walls have been framed, trimmed, and painted. And now the basement is filled with that coveted luscious light. Here's that before video we took on the other side of the house. And then the after. What a difference it makes. Completely opens up the basement. If you're in the market for an egress window to increase the value of your home or just to add an abundant amount of light to your basement, Jordan of JDS Home Improvement will absolutely come out to discuss what's right for you.